Hey, so I just got off of a group meeting with why I look so grainy. I'm sorry that the recording isn't the greatest quality. However, I just got off of a meeting with one of our members in the Q&A who was doing um, assignment number four in the foundations. So that assignment number four in the foundations course is developing self-compassion. And as we were talking, um, it became really clear that it's easy to make the assumption from that recording if you've done any work around or reading around inner child healing and reparenting stuff um, where you think that maybe the assignment for this lesson is that you're supposed to find soothing words for your inner child. Here's the deal about that. You're right now in the foundations course. Everything that we experienced as children that created this trigger responses in our body actually prevents us from going back and doing that self-soothing. So this is the wall, that's the inner child, this is me right now. So if I didn't ever have so this is a developmental gap. So the trigger and however that trigger response in your body shows up right now, um, we were talking about skin picking. That was one of the things I did as a kid. So this, this arm before I tattooed and put this beautiful armor on it, shield, I can see it, um, was terribly scarred because I was hurting myself from the time I was a very small child until I was about 30. So for me, that behavior was a behavior that got set in place as a behavior I used to soothe my fear. That behavior holds a developmental gap. What is the developmental gap? The developmental gap is the ability to self-soothe. So I didn't learn to self-soothe except for skin picking. Um, until I had healed the trigger responses that came from the fear that's on the other side of that wall. So it's gonna be impossible for you today in the foundations course to say, oh, I'll just give self-soothing words to my inner child. That comes later in the process once you've learned how to heal triggered responses using the six steps. That comes later in the course. So right now, the kind of self-soothing that I want you to do is I want you to find statements that make sense that help you get through today. Like, it's okay, I'm learning. If I make a mistake, I'm still practicing so I can still learn. I can figure this out. It's okay for me to not understand everything today. Um, soothing myself, my inner child is something I'm going to learn, but today, what can I say to myself now that helps me get through this moment? It's okay to make mistakes. I'm learning. This is a process. I have a community here of people who can help and support. I have um, a survivor guiding me to help me understand this healing process. I can do it one day at a time. I'm capable of learning. I might've missed that soothing when I was young, but I can learn little things now that help me soothe myself now and I'll get to the little child later. That's what this is about. So find some soothing statements that you can make for yourself now. And don't worry about your inner child. We'll get to him or her, we will but only in the right time. There's something else I wanna say. Um, <clears throat> therapists, misguided therapists, who think they understand the healing process, who um, are kind of misguided because they have book learning instead of body learning <laughs> about how to heal trauma, will see what's going on for you and they will say, um, go give that inner child a hug. Go give that inner child some soothing. 
because they logically know that that's a healing uh, step, but they don't know how to bridge the gap between where you are right now and where you can actually soothe your inner child. As a therapist who's been doing the, the work with clients who have trauma for 25 years, I will tell you, learning how to bridge that gap for a client is not an easy task. And it has to be a very carefully um, choreographed process so that your desire to soothe the little child is naturally coming from you instead of somebody else's suggestion. I'm saying this because one of the things that somebody who's heard or read or had someone tell them about reparenting will do when a therapist puts that intervention before you're ready is then your thoughts say, why can't I do this? What's wrong with me? How come I can't soothe my inner child? I don't even know who my inner child is. I don't even know if I have an inner child. So what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. You can't cross the gap that still is held open by behaviors and triggered responses that maintain the space where the development was missed for you. And in this moment, we're talking about the practice of self-soothing. So don't worry about the inner child right now. Worry about you today and little things you can say to yourself to help yourself feel encouraged along the self-healing process. If you need to, reach out in the community. Reach out to me. Send me a private message. Put something on your feed in the community that says, I need some help trying to figure out what I can say to myself in my soothing process right now so that we can support each other and you can feel and know that you're not alone. But if you're having trouble with this, I'm telling you, and this for me is, this is your gap between your ability to be right here where you are right now and to soothe that child that's on the other side of the wall. There's a reason it's like that. And we'll get to that. Don't worry. You're doing just fine. Okay. I'm doing fine. I'm where I need to be. I can learn this stuff. Those are three examples of statements you can say to yourself right now to feel better. See you in the community. <laughs>